Hi, welcome to Reverie Chiropractic. I am Dr. Lilac. How are you doing today? Okay, got it. And what brings you in to my office today? Okay, got it. I see, I understand. Yeah. Mm hmm. Got it. So a little bit of pain in the shoulder blade and tightness in the neck and shoulders. That's right. Okay. And how long have you been experiencing this? Quite some time. Well, I'm very sorry to hear that. First of all, um, it's never a good thing to be living with any type of uh, long-term pain or uh, discomfort for too long. So I'm glad that you have sought out my services because I am uh, very, very good, of course, at what I do. But perhaps more importantly, I am very confident that we're going to be able to help you. Okay. Got it. Now, a few quick things before we get into um, the adjustments, everything like that. Okay. First, most likely you're experiencing the, the pain that you're experiencing and the discomfort, tension, because you've been looking down at a cell phone or a computer screen for an awful long time. What I recommend is take frequent breaks to help the body acclimate to walking around and moving normally. Once every 30 minutes or so, get up, take a little bit of a walk, help the body acclimate to, again, moving around, okay? There was a, a productivity tip that somebody shared with me back when I was um, still doing my education, and it was essentially that for every 25 minutes that you're working on a project, studying for an exam, or just working in your day-to-day -day life, you should be taking the extra five minutes in the half hour to essentially be up and moving, okay? It's a really helpful tip. The reason why it's so helpful is because it helps to recalibrate the brain, give our thoughts time to organize themselves, and give the mind a chance to really digest all of the information which we've taken in. This is where a lot of problem solving happens in these break periods. You've heard of putting things on the back burner, right? Wonderful. It's just like that. Just do it a little bit more frequently. I guarantee that once we're through here with the adjustments and we've got your body back realigned where it should be, you're going to be able to live for a long time without that pain or that discomfort. If you're taking more frequent breaks from looking down. Okay. Wonderful. Now, first things first, we're going to do a light but uh, firm massage, okay? The reason why we massage is because we always want to have the muscles be warmed up. We never want to have uh, the body working with cold muscles, especially when we're doing adjustments. Adjustments, after all, are facilitating the proper motion and realignment of our joints in our body, those areas between bones. But all bones have muscles attached to them. If you make an adjustment to a bone and joint area with cold muscles, often what you'll experience is strain or tension on those muscles. So in solving one problem, you have inadvertently caused another which is, of course, why we massage. May I begin the procedure? Okay. And I always like to ask patients because I never want to um, be doing anything that could cause you discomfort without first warning you and letting you know that I'm going to begin working, adjusting, moving the body, okay? We're just starting up at the shoulders doing some firm motion, 
get the blood flowing to that area, all right? And we're going to focus not just on the shoulders, not just on the neck, we're going to just be using the knuckles on the neck just to provide a little bit of stimulation, okay? Just to provide a little bit of stimulation. We're also going to be spending some time on the arms as well. The body, after all, is all connected. Yeah. And where you may not even be experiencing pain and discomfort in one particular area, but it is definitely being affected by the uh, compensations made in other areas, okay? Now, I'm going to move over to this arm, just providing some firm stimulation to make sure that the blood is flowing, the muscles are ready to move, and just to ensure that when we really begin working with and moving this area, you had mentioned shoulder blade pain, so a lot of that is going to come from shoulder and uh, arm adjustments. We don't want to strain anything. The arm muscles, shoulder muscles, are particularly prone to straining. You've heard of bicep and tricep tears or um, strains. Good. Now I'm just moving down to the hand. Just moving down to the hand and providing some movement, a little bit of pressure to the wrist area, getting that all nice and warmed up and to the palm area, just using my thumbs, just like this, okay, just like this, on the palm, good, and now the other arm, same procedure, just warming up the bicep, moving it a little bit, using um, just the thumbs and the interior, this C shape of the palm, to manipulate the muscle, both the bicep and the tricep, keeping everything nice and uh, firmly in place. We're not going to be shaking your arm up and down, nothing like that. Just getting the body warmed up. Now down to the forearm, just doing a little bit of work there, just to move that area a little bit, get some blood flowing there, and down again to the wrist, and down to the hand, just the interior of the palm, that's what we're going to be working with right now. Alrighty, and finishing up, we're going to do just a little bit more up here with the shoulders, okay, got it, you're doing really, really well, the key to any good chiropractic adjustment, chiropractic session, is to be relaxed and receptive. You might be tempted to strain or to, you know, resist certain movements, but we're not moving your body in any way that is unnatural. And in fact, we're moving your body so that it is aligned back to its natural uh, alignment, okay? so. Everything that we're doing is in the interest of getting you back to being as comfortable as possible, okay? Wonderful. Now, let's start with the shoulders, okay? We're going to do a few adjustments on either side, and you just sitting up just like you are is perfectly fine, okay? Perfect. We'll start over here. I'm going to be putting my hand back behind your shoulder and then in front of your shoulder as well. Just a few quick pressure based. So pushing inward both at the same time, okay? Here we go. Good, good. And again, perfect. Now we're going to be manipulating everything back, okay? And here we go. Good. I think I can get a little bit more there. Good. And one last time. 
moving everything forward. Good. Excellent. That one was good. And once more. Perfect. Now I'm going to be placing my hand under the armpit and the other hand on top of your shoulder, okay? And just moving up. One more time, up, good. And now pressing down, good. And one more time, good, excellent. You're doing really, really well. How does that feel? Does that shoulder feel like it's opened up a little bit? Good, good, excellent. And now over here as well. Again, just starting with one hand in front, together behind the shoulder. Good. One more time back. Good. Now just in. Perfect. In again. Very good. All right. And now forward. Good. And again. Good. And same thing, one hand under the armpit. And the other is just going to be helping facilitate movement. Up, good, and up again, perfect. I think I can get a little bit more there. One more time, perfect. And now down, good, and good. Now you hear that cracking noise, right? Both from the shoulder and from the bones surrounding the shoulder. You might be a little bit concerned thinking that, you know, the body is creaking or moving in a way that it shouldn't. But this is a misnomer. The cracking is just gases being released from the joints as those gas bubbles are popped and the joint is moved back into proper alignment, okay? Not harmful at all. You may have heard an old wives' tale that uh, cracking your knuckles or cracking your neck will cause arthritis. There have been numerous studies done throughout the decades that really don't corroborate that at all. Um, cracking your knuckles, cracking your neck seem to have no bearing on arthritis or any type of bone or joint disease, okay? Got it, just a little bit of reassurance there. Now, let's focus a little bit on the neck, okay? Perfect. Now, before I begin the adjustment, I just want you to turn, okay? Your head both ways and then up and down for me, okay? Okay, interesting, interesting. And up for me, please, and then down. Okay, so pretty limited movement, especially on the one side there, okay? Not unusual for the tightness and the pain that you were describing. Certainly something that we can help with, obviously. That's why you've come to us. But a little, I wouldn't say concerning, just something to note, of course. I think that the difference now and after the session, what you'll be able to feel and how you'll be able to move, it's going to be night and day for you, okay? It's really really going to be um, something special. Now, I'm going to place my hand underneath your chin, okay? And the other hand at the back of the head. There we go. And we're just going to do some quick side-to-side -side movement, all right? Just going to be turning the head. Nothing crazy. These type of adjustments are nothing that would harm the neck again. I just want to reiterate, we're not moving the body in any way that is um, unnatural or uncomfortable. If at any point during this process you feel pain or discomfort beyond that which you are just in your day to day, let me know and we will immediately stop the procedure and do what we need to to fix that, okay? Perfect. Again, this isn't a scary thing. I just tell you these things to help assuage your fears, to help calm your mind. Like I said, 
this whole process works best when you're relaxed, when you are receptive, when you're loose, okay? We always want you to be loose. Don't resist. Don't try to strain or anything. Just let me work my magic, all right? First, we're going to this side and then this side. And one. We're going to do this side again, okay? Perfect. One more. Good. And now to the other side. That was a bigger one. And there we go. All right, let me just feel around the back of the neck, shoulders. This feels a lot looser than when we started. A lot of those blockages have been reduced and a lot of the uh, cervical neck area has been realigned. Not totally, but making really good progress. Okay, good. By the way, you looked a little confused when I said cervical. The spine is divided into three areas. The cervical or neck spine. The thoracic spine, which is the middle back. And the lumbar region. The lumbar region is the very tail end of the spine, okay? That's the lower back. You often hear about chairs that offer lumbar support they're supporting the lower back it's as simple as it is yeah often um, when we have issues troubles in one area so for you it would be the cervical spine which is causing this tightness in the neck and shoulders the rest of the body will try to compensate and maintain homeostasis okay you remember that word right from your probably eighth grade biology, right? So homeostasis is just balance within the body. Whenever there's a misalignment or unbalance, the rest of the body moves to compensate. So the thoracic and lumbar spine will try to compensate, but in doing so, for the cervical misalignment, they will themselves misalign. So if left untreated for too long, Neck pain can become back pain, can become lower back pain, can become discomfort and pain in the hips, in the legs, in the feet. It's all connected, which is why we want to treat it early, treat it often, and make sure that, again, you're allowing the body to move as intended. Don't be staring down at the phone so often that the cervical issues spread right we don't want any cervical issues we don't want any issues at all but we can't prevent ourselves of course from looking at the phone from looking at the computer but taking those breaks is really important now again i've got my hand under your chin i'm going to be turning your head now more like um instead of turning it this way to this way I'm going to be angling either way okay We'll start, we'll be moving this way. There we go. That was perfect. And again. Wonderful. And the other side. There we go. Good. Perfect. I felt a lot of movement there. And, yeah, that's a lot, a lot better than it was. Can you give me that turn again, please, side to side? Perfect. See how your range of motion has improved. Now that we've released a lot of the tension in the muscles from that massage, and we've realigned the spine, which will prevent those muscles from re-tightening, you can move a lot more freely and have a lot higher range of motion, which is, of course, what we want. The, the ideal range of motion is full range of motion. We want to get as close to that as possible. Now, you had mentioned some issues with your shoulder blade, right? Is that still persisting? Okay, so still a little bit of pain and tightness you can feel. And you can, you can definitely still feel it. Okay. 
that's all right i expected that how is the neck though is the neck's tightness reduced perfect and after we realign the shoulder blade brief series of adjustments we'll be able to really see the impact okay you'll be able to feel the impact of that so for this now i'd like you to turn around okay all right and again before we begin any adjustments we're going to do a brief massage this time of the back muscles okay so just again moving everything this doesn't have to be um, a crazy firm process right just enough to stimulate the blood flow get the muscles moving and working yeah Introducing movement up at the shoulders again, down, good, good, okay. Now I'm going to just briefly stimulate everything just by tapping, quickly tapping and moving the muscles, all right. There's a, there is of course a special word for this process, just as there's a special word for everything. But uh, unfortunately it eludes me right now. There we go. And just again, really lightly. Perfect. Does that feel a little bit looser for you? Excellent. All right. Now, before we begin with the shoulder blade, we're going to make some adjustments on the thoracic spine. Again, that's the area around your end of the neck and then down before the lower back, okay? So I'm just going to be pressing and moving, just to move everything back into position, okay? Good. Perfect. Good. Wonderful. Excellent. And now we're going to go from the bottom up, okay? Good, good, good. Good. How is that feeling? Perfect. There were a few spots that I noticed had more tension, more misalignment than others. I'm going to be working with those directly just by providing pinpoint pressure, okay? Just to those areas, just setting them to where they need to be. Okay, just with the thumbs and the knuckles. Good. There we go. Perfect. There. Excellent. You're doing really well, and now I'm from the bottom up again. Good. Excellent. Perfect. One more. Good. Really simple, really easy adjustment. How is that feeling? Excellent, a lot more opened up, right? Good, that's what we really want to hear. Now, we're going to be focusing directly on that shoulder blade, okay? I'm going to be pushing, moving, and just in general, again, getting everything to where it needs to be. All right? So first, we're going to be doing some pressure where I'm just pushing in and up. Okay. Good. doing really well. Just remember, loose and relaxed, right? Loose and relaxed. All right. Good. Good. Perfect. All right. Now we're going to be moving out, okay? So we're going to be pushing out. Good. Good. Perfect. How does that feel? Give that shoulder a little bit of movement. How does that feel? Good. 
Excellent. Still a little bit of pain. Okay. I've got one more adjustment I want to do. I'll be pushing down on both shoulders. Just trying to get those last adjustments made. Okay. Good. 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 How's that feel? Move both arms. Yep. Excellent. That's really what we like to hear. Your range of motion is looking very much improved as well, which is perfect. That's really good. Excellent. Okay, now I want to adjust a little bit of the lumbar region. So that mid to lower back, okay? For that, I want you to stay again, just as you are. Perfect. I want you to put your arms just like this, just like you're giving yourself a nice firm hug, okay? Perfect. Now I'm going to reach around, put my hands on both of your elbows. I'm just going to use my shoulders to manipulate the lower back by moving your shoulders, okay? Here we go. Good. Good. Back. Perfect. One more time. There we go. Did you hear all that? That was a lot of adjustment. Like I said, problems in the cervical spine cause problems in the thoracic, cause problems in the lumbar. You can't just treat one without treating everything. And that's what we really pride ourselves on. Not just focusing on the problem that is presenting itself, but focusing on all the problems that may present. Okay. Perfect. Now, we've gone through the major adjustments for you, okay? Everything is looking really good. Your range of motion is looking fantastic. But as much as I think that a trip to the chiropractor should be educational, it should be for pain relief first, there are, of course, those um, more exotic adjustments that sometimes people see on the internet but don't really want to try out themselves, okay? So, this is the opportunity, the offer that I make to all of my clients, that if you would like, I can show you a few of the more interesting adjustments. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to start with your arm here, okay? All right. I'm just grabbing the hand, just like this. Loose, loose, loose. Loose. I'm just moving it back and forth, and there we go. It's pretty dramatic, right? Perfect. And now for the elbow, same thing. Same thing. Loose. Think loosey goosey thoughts. Loose, loose, loose. Perfect. Okay. Did you feel that one? Good. Now the hand. We're just going to massage the hand really quickly. Massage, massage. We're going to do the thumb first. There we go. And now the pointer, middle, ring, and pinky finger. Okay, we'll do that. There we go. And the thumb one more time. There we go. Nice quick series of adjustments. Nothing too painful, nothing that's going to be causing, any, again, a type of long-term harm, but just more fun adjustments that you don't get made a whole lot. Let's do the same thing over here, right? Same thing, starting with the shoulder, loose, 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 and there we go. All right, now the elbow, again, loose, relaxed, relaxed, don't move until you're fully relaxed, there we go, excellent, and now the hand, palm, let's do the wrist on this one, there we go, thumb, now, pointer, middle, ring, and pinky. There we go. And thumb again. There we go. How does that feel? Really refreshes you, doesn't it? Really refreshes you. And lots of the... Um, we don't really notice when the, the fingers or the hand are in pain or when their range of motion is constricted. 
but we absolutely notice when everything is opened up and we're able to move everything pain free, right? Wonderful. Alrighty. Now, this one's going to sound a little strange, but I'd like to adjust your ears, okay? I know you might be thinking that the ears, the ears aren't made of bone or don't have joints, and that's true, but there is a, a degree of pressure that is maintained in the ear that if we're able to mobilize it, move it around a little bit, it can really feel excellent, right? Is that okay with you? Perfect. Right over here, I'm just gently massaging, just getting the ear used to being touched. Down to the earlobe, up to the crown, okay, and how did that feel? Good. Over here, same thing. Just a brief massage, earlobe, up to the crown of the ear, and up, down, and there we go. That one had a little bit more tension to it. Now, let's do the jaw, okay? Again, just a massage to warm up the muscles. Okay, good, 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 and perfect, one more time, good, alrighty, yeah, it feels weird, doesn't it, but a lot better range of motion, feels more comfortable, excellent, well, that, I think, will just about wrap us up, that's the end of the fun adjustments, how is the neck, the shoulder blade, Check your range of motion. Okay, give me that turn again, please. Just from side to side. Perfect, that's looking excellent. Much improved range of motion overall. Cross everything. How are you feeling? Perfect, that's what we like to hear. Again, just be sure to be taking those breaks when you're working on a computer, using your smartphone, whatever, just be sure to be incorporating those break elements, okay? Perfect, again, we just wanna give the body an opportunity to naturally realign itself, so that hopefully, you know, of course I'll always be here if you have any additional concerns or if you need readjusted, but ideally we would want you to live without needing an adjustment for as long as possible. Okay, don't need that discomfort or tension or pain. So we wanna do our best to prevent. An ounce of prevention, after all, is worth a pound of cure. Perfect. It has been so nice meeting you today. Your entire visit, after all, is covered by insurance, so no need to um, you know, have any money, credit card ready, nothing like that. Everything is covered. You can check out and, if you would like, get a lollipop. I know it seems a bit juvenile, but I never quite feel like my experience at the physician or doctor's is complete unless they have offered me a snack. It's juvenile, I know, but hey, if it works, it works. Wonderful. Again, thank you so much for coming in today and if you need me, I'll always be here. Have an excellent rest of your day. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.